Hi everyone and welcome back to the Happy Heart. I am so glad that you guys came over today to see another brand new video. If it's your first time here, welcome. My name is Lacey and I am so glad that you guys came over to cook with me. So I filmed this a couple nights ago. It is a family favorite, tried and true. You're gonna love it and it's so easy. This recipe is super versatile, crock pot friendly. I'm sure it's Instapot friendly as well. And such an easy weeknight meal. So let's get to cooking and I'll show you guys what I did. Okay, for this recipe, it is a super simple, easy recipe that I got years ago on all recipes. I actually looked it up for you guys because I could not find my printout. This is the original recipe and I'll put it down in the description box below. So this original recipe calls for four chicken breasts. I'm only using two. This is a package from Costco. And I'm actually going to half this recipe because I have a rather small family. I'm only cooking for three people. And I just didn't want any leftovers. But I have made this where I made four chicken breasts. And to the recipe, I've had plenty of leftovers. If you have kind of an average size family, it would probably be just perfect. It's so easy and simple, and that's why I love this recipe, and I've done it for years. I'm going to put in about 8 ounces of barbecue sauce. It says 12 on the original recipe, but um, I just put in about a cup. And I have found that it really doesn't matter about what kind of barbecue sauce you use. I usually use honey barbecue sauce, though. I don't know why. I like it a little bit sweeter, but this was just a very cheap barbecue sauce I bought. You'll also need two tablespoons of Worcestershire, however you say this, and I'm going to put in just one, and it calls for a fourth of a cup of brown sugar, and I just filled this about halfway. It's kind of sloped, so that's why. And then you're just going to need a half a cup of this if you're making a full recipe, and I just use any type of Italian dressing will work. Um, this is just the one I had on hand. So let's put everything in and see how it looks. The best thing about this recipe is you could do it on high for um, three to four hours or you can do it on low for seven to eight. And I find that you can do about three hours is easy. So if you are like, oh no, it's for dinner, it's the afternoon, what can I do? You can still get that really good crock pot goodness in about three hours. Depending on how much chicken, I would think if you did the four pieces of chicken that you'd probably do a little, probably three and a half hours. But we're just gonna put the lid on and get this going. And at the end, all we'll do is we will shred it up and y'all will see it shreds up so easy. And we'll put it over some baked potatoes, serve it, and it will be amazing. So quick, easy crock pot meal, perfect for using pantry staples. All this stuff is easy to have on hand and it's most of it is shelf stable. It's just stuff you're gonna have in your refrigerator and your pantry. So easy meal for tonight. Okay you guys, so it has been like three and a half hours for me. Sorry if you can hear my husband snoring in the background. He's like taking a nap on the couch. But this is what it looks like. So I'm gonna shred that chicken up and show y'all. So excited to eat this, it's so good. Okay guys, so I shredded it up. It actually pulled apart so easy, oh my goodness. I let mine sit a little bit longer so the barbecue sauce kinda got thick right here. Normally doesn't do that. It is so good. And I'll show you what it looks like on the plate. Hey guys, this is the end result. I take, I take a baked potato and these I've just baked in the oven. I did 350 for about an hour. Um, I put some salt and oil on my hands, rubbed it on the potatoes before I put them in, punched a bunch of whole holes in them with a fork, and take that baked potato, put the chicken mixture on top, and then I like a bunch of sour cream. Um, so that is why it looks like this. But even without that, it's so good. And then I just heated up some vegetables from last night to put with it. What do you guys think? It is one of our favorite, favorite meals.